This is a demonstration of the use of Instant Text and SDL Trado Studio to show how Instant Text can emulate or do something similar to what AutoSuggest does. So to start, we're going to look at this sentence here. And this indicates that there is a term recognition, a uh, term that is recognized here, but this is not the translation I want to use, so I'll just start typing. I start typing here, and the word I want to use is this word. I type any um, sequence of letters in the word, and then hit my marker key, and the word is expanded automatically. That's done by auto text. I keep um, writing. What we see here is these are the auto text, uh, auto suggestion um, suggestions, and they all come from the translation memory. That's the, the icon there. But none of these fit exactly um, what I want to write. And so I'm not going to choose any, but if I wanted to choose one, I, if I need the first one, just hit enter. Or if I want, let's say, the second one, I go with the arrows, I go to the one I want, and then hit enter. That's how AutoSuggest works. But in this case, it doesn't help me. It's not what I want. Notice what happens here. I start typing. I want to type the translation for all the services, todos los servicios. And Instant Text is recognizing a continuation here. I don't have a short um, here, a, a, a short abbreviation or a number. So this shows me that that's a continuation for this. If I want to use these two words next, servicios que, which in fact I do, I just hit my marker key and they show up. And the next thing is it shows me another possible continuation. I can choose any of these. I can use the numbers or I can just choose the first one. In this case, I'm going to choose the first one. Just hit the marker key. And that's actually good. So that's um, how the continuations feature works in instant text. We keep going. And here's another suggestion that is offered by AutoSuggest. In fact, I want this one. So I'll just do that. And then I keep going. But um, notice that that's, that's all I got, only those three words from AutoSuggest. But look at what happens if instead of using the AutoSuggest auto suggestions, I go for the instant text continuations, which are entered automatically. I type the first word, but instead of choosing the audio suggestion, I'll just keep writing. And as soon as I start typing the, the third word, because instant text requires two words before it starts offering continuations, you have to type two words first. And so in this case, as soon as I start typing the third word, I start getting the continuations here. And this is the one I want, actually. So I'm going to the first one, so I'll just hit my marker key. And, um, no, that's actually not the one I wanted. Let's do that again. I want number three. So I'll just do three and then marker key. And I, now I want number two. So again, two and then marker key. And I, and the next one, I look at this and, and I, that actually works, the first one. So I'll just hit the marker key and it keeps entering the continuations that are offered here. These continuations, of course, come from the experiment that I've been doing today where I entered the translation memory that I'm using here into instant text. So I'm actually going to finish that. Um, and I do that, but that's not the word I want, so I'll just choose that and that's um, a short form for participar then hit the expansion key or the marker key and that's it and let's say that I want to enter this whole phrase into instant text I just highlight that and do alt equal and that will enter it in there but I don't want that short because I would have to remember that I just want the first letter and I do that and that's it 
And the next time I need to write this, assuming that that's a very common phrase, I'll just type the fr a few letters um, in the phrase in no particular order. It just they have they don't have to be consecutive, but they all have to be in the phrase in the order that they appear. And you see how I type that, and I see the phrase here that I entered earlier. And again, hit the the marker key and that gives me the whole expansion. That's how that works, very easy to add. Um, and here we have again the auto suggestion feature giving me some more suggestions. Um, that's how that works and you see how easy it is to add things on the fly to instant text. Now if I wanted to add a phrase like that to auto suggest, you know what I would have to do? I would have to create a new auto suggest dictionary or replace the one that I have now, which means um, an analysis of my translation memory and my term base. So for now, for me, it's just faster to deal with the instant text um, process or procedure rather than going through the auto-suggest recreation or regeneration of the dictionaries. But this, um, this was a demonstration to see how instant text can supplement very nicely um, the term recognition and auto-suggest features that we have in Trado Studio.